Hello, this is Rudy Besikoff, president of Laney College. And I'd like to take a few minutes to talk to you today about campus safety as we continue through the semester. To begin my message, I actually would like to give you a number instead of an idea. And here is that number, 510-466-7236. This is a phone number you can call at any time to reach Marina Security Services 24 hours a day, seven days a week to either report a crime or to request a security escort to your vehicle, to the bus stop, or to the BART station as you come to and leave our campus. Consider this a resource that is always available to you, our valued students. Also, as we continue through the semester, I hope that as you go to and, and leave class, that you're not doing it alone. Please identify a classmate with whom you can walk on campus and be accompanied just to keep yourself safe. Also, as you're on our campus, please take care of your valuables. If you have valuables such as laptops or, or your wallet or things like that, please have them tucked away and secure while you're walking on campus so that they're not easily taken away from you. If you're joining us by car, we urge you to lock your car at all times and do not have any visible things in your car, such as a cell phone or, or anything that someone might, walking by might see and be tempted to take. Taking these precautions will make your student experience a safer one at Laney College. Also, as you're walking around, please be sure to stay within our well-lit areas on our campus. We have some very wide walkways to access any part of our campus, whether it's above ground where, where our quad may be found or within our breezeways that access a number of our career education classes. Please take the time to keep yourself within well-lit areas, not only for safety, but also to avoid things like turned ankles or, or, or falls uh, due to walking in an area that might be too dark. Also, while you're on our campus and you're walking from class to class, or from, from your class to your vehicle or wherever you might be headed. Keep your attention on where you're going. You'll notice today in my recording, I don't have my headphones on. That should be the same for you as you're walking around our campus so that you can hear what's going on. Also, although I'm a very busy person, when you're, uh, and, and so are you as you pursue your studies, avoid looking at this device as you're walking around, okay? Minding your surroundings this way, is much better than walking around this way. So really knowing the number for campus safety, making sure wherever possible that you're not walking alone, staying in well-lit areas and not being distracted are some points to consider for your own safety. On the spirit of safety as you come to our campus, I showed you my phone a minute ago and now it is a good time to pay attention to it because as you come to campus, Marina Security, is now increasing its attention to make sure all who come to campus have this green screen so that they can come to our classes with the assurance that others on campus are vaccinated and have passed screenings as they go through. But I'd like to point you to some other aspects of the Campus Shield app, app that you may not have been aware of. And I'm gonna, I'm going to kind of zoom in here for a minute. Um, you can see the little eye that's on my phone. And you will notice that um, that is actually for reporting any crimes or things that you see. Also, um, I got to my green screen or I, I got to answer my questions by looking at this COVID health assessment. If you tap here, you'll see this is where I answered my questions and then got my green screen to come onto campus. There are some other features here that are also important. If you're in a situation where maybe time does not allow you to dial a phone number, you can simply touch this red button on the top for emergencies. At the bottom of the app though, you'll also see another phone. This is for non-emergencies. If you need to call campus security with a question or if you want to request a campus escort, you can press this button and what you'll see is it automatically gives you a phone number to dial. Also within the app, um, a couple of things that I also want to point out are this little folder at the bottom, which links you directly to the AC Transit website. And then I also would like to show you this little folding icon, which shows you the campus safety map. 
There's also a, a, a clock icon, which allows you to look at the friend watch and help you keep track of classmates and, and so on on campus. And so as you'll see, there are a number of resources within this Campus Shield app that can help you as you spend time on the Laney College or any of our Peralta Community College campuses. Also, in closing, I would like to direct you to another resource to help you stay up to date on safety. And this is the Safe Peralta website. And if you look at the bottom of my screen, you can see the address that is there right now. In addition to providing you updates on the homepage, you can also get information about the COVID-19 vaccine. There's a special page for that. There are also additional COVID resources available to you and to answer any questions you might have. For employees, there's also a page with information for employees marked faculty staff. There's also a safety page you can look at. And then if you have any questions at all about anything on the Safe Peralta website, there is a contact us button that you can click. I hope you have benefited from the few minutes that I've taken today to talk to you about safety as it remains our highest priority at Laney College and within the Peralta Community College District. Thank you and have a great rest of the semester.